James Madison is the third signing of the Ange Postacoglu era at Tottenham after Dejan Kulazewski joined on a permanent deal this summer alongside Vicario, the Empoli goalkeeper. Um, so what can James Madison bring to Tottenham over the next few seasons? Well, it all very much depends on whether Harry Kane is going to stay at the club. Um, if he does, all of a sudden you look at Tottenham's front three or front four now with the uh, addition of James Madison and you think that they could arguably have one of the best attacking forces in the Premier League. You obviously have the relationship between Min Son and Harry Kane, who are the most prolific goal-scoring pair in the league's history since it formed in 1992. Uh, you've got Dejan Kulazewski, who's come in, had an excellent first season at Tottenham. Uh, went a bit off the boil last season, but will hopefully be um, back to his best under, under Postacoglu, who loves that attacking brand of football, unlike um, Antonio Conte and Jose Mourinho and Nuno Espirito Santo before him. Um, but what about James Madison? What's he going to bring to that Tottenham team? Well, he finally seems to be the Christian Eriksen replacement that uh, Tottenham fans have been crying out for for so long. Um, that attacking flair, creativity, uh, composure, excellence on the ball. He has all of that in abundance. Um, only Trent Alexander-Arnold and Kevin De Bruyne have created more chances in the Premier League than James Madison since the 2018-19 season, which is a phenomenal stat. Obviously, he's only 26 years of age as well, so he's got so much more potential to give um, and so many more years at, at the top of his game, which is an excellent sign for Spurs fans. Um, what else has he got that he can bring to the table? Well, we've seen it for England uh, in the last couple of internationals, particularly the one against North Macedonia where he actually played. Um, he, he does have that ability to be able to press um, and attack people off the ball, which a lot of people have sort of said is his weakness and something that he's not particularly very good at. But that probably couldn't be any further from the truth. Um, if you have a look at that game in, in an England kit, um, you can see on multiple occasions James Madison is able to shut down and chase and, and press high up in, in the final third of the pitch. And that's going to be something that's really important to Tottenham's attack in play uh, the, the season coming because um, they're going to see a complete change in brand. They're going to be going from this back five to a potential 4-3-3 or 4-3-2-1 under Ange Postacoglu. Um, and Madison is going to be that sort of link. He can play as a number eight or he can play as a creative number 10 uh, where Christian Eriksen used to play. Or he could even play on the left or right wing, which is just such an excellent pickup for Spurs, um, bringing in a versatile player like himself. Um, you know, I think he's got 75 odd goals and assists across the last five seasons as well. 10 goals and nine assists for Leicester last season, who got relegated from the Prem, of course, um, as well. So there's so much positive going into this Madison deal. And then you have to talk about the price tag as well. Um, 40 million plus add-ons, although I do think they are realistic add-ons. Um, to do with Tottenham finishing inside Europe and, and going distance in certain cup competitions, which um, are all to be expected of them um, every single season. But uh, if you factor in the Harry Winks deal uh, to Leicester as well for £10 million, um, although they were completely separate deals, you can look at it uh, and think that James Madison's essentially cost Spurs £30 million for one of the best attacking uh, forces um, in the top flight in England um, and you know he's drawn a lot of interest from a lot of clubs over the years Daniel Levy's been a huge admirer of him um, as well in the in the last three seasons in particular decided not to go for him um, under Antonio Conte's orders last season but he's got his man now uh, and Madison you know people will have seen the behind the scenes footage he looks to be buying into this Postacoglu um, theory of changing the um, sort of mindset of the Tottenham players and changing the atmosphere around the club um, so all in all you have to rate it as a really good transfer you, you've got to give it a rating of I'd say 8 out of 10 at least it's probably one of the most exciting signings made by any team um, in England over, over the last couple of weeks or since the, the transfer windows open so um, yeah, lots to look forward to with James Madison. Um, plenty of good things to say about him. Of course, he's not perfect and he does have his faults. Um, he can be a bit rash um, and he's known to play very, very risky football, which uh, I actually think Postacoglu is going to like. So, um, you know, wait for him to come back for pre-season and, and see how he settles in with the squad. Obviously, if Harry Kane stays, that's a massive boost for him. But he has got the capability to be able to 
get Spurs back into contention for those top four places, you know, competing with uh, their rivals around them, the, you know, the Manchester United, the Newcastles, the Arsenals, the Liverpools, um, <clears throat> etc. So overall, a really exciting signing. Um, they've got themselves a player who can play in a number of different positions, possesses a number of really good skills that will be valued at Tottenham. And uh, yeah, looking forward to seeing how this one pans out. Um, so yeah, that's my take on James Madison. Let me know if you want me to do more.